in today's video, I'm gonna be doing things just a little bit different from the norm. Instead of having one larger project in one video, I'm going to have two projects in one video. For the first project, Mrs. Making Stuff and I like to sit outside on our back patio with our two corgis. And when the weather turns cooler, it's harder to do that. So I figured why not build a fire pit using the X-Tool metal fab. And that way we can sit outside just a little bit longer when the weather gets cooler. And the design that I had up here in my head, I now have it drawn out on my computer. And to keep in line with the outdoor theme and the two dogs, I figured why not put some paw prints around the perimeter of the fire pit. And as I just mentioned, we are gonna be using the X-Tool Metal Fab in today's video. And if you aren't familiar with it, it is a four-in-one machine. It is a laser welder, cutter, engraver, and cleaner. There's also an optional CNC platform that can be purchased with it, which we will also be using in today's video. And if you wanna know more information about the Metal Fab, such as the pricing information or any current specials that are going on, just check out the link that I've got down in the description of the video. Okay, so I've got the main part of the fire pit finished. I've got the base and then I have the top piece that goes on here and then the fire will be built inside of this top part. And here on the bottom, I think I've changed my mind here. I was just gonna put a flat piece here and let this be like a bowl and it would just fill up. But instead, I think what I'm gonna do is put some expanded metal here on the bottom and then build a tray that's gonna fit right here in the base and then that way all of the hot coals and ash can fall down into that tray and it'll be easier to clean it out. So I fired up the metal fab to create a pan to hold all of the ashes that this fire pit is going to make and I really like how simple it is to do with the metal fab. I don't need any extra tools like a sheet metal bender or a brake. And next I'll just cut a scrap piece of expanded metal and welded that onto the fire pit and that will keep all of the large coals and pieces of wood from falling down into the tray. And then I just welded some angle iron here underneath the base of the fire pit. And that's just gonna allow the tray to slide up underneath here and be easily removed so that I can empty out the ash. So the only thing left to do is slap a coat of paint on this thing. And I know how mind-numbingly boring that can be. So the next time you see this, it will be completely finished.
The next project I'm gonna tackle in today's video has to do with my Fireball Tool Squares. I have got several of these and I keep accumulating more of them and I have been keeping them in a drawer over here in the toolbox and now that drawer is full. Plus also when I need these things, I need them over here on the welding table. The toolbox is over here in the corner of the shop. I'm having to walk back and forth all the time just to grab a square. So I figured the best thing to do would be build an organizer that will hold all of the squares and it will mount to the wall over here by the welding table so that I will have the squares readily available when I need them. And like I said, I'm gonna mount this holder here on the wall. Right here's where my welding table usually sits. And you can see currently there's some pegboard here on the wall and this is just old. It's starting to break down and you can see some of these hooks are breaking and it's pretty much useless to me at this point. So I'm gonna mount my square holder right here. So let's get started on this project. And this is what one of those pockets look like when it is fully welded on the metal fab. You can see it's doing an excellent job on this sheet metal, just all the way down through here. It just looks really good. And then if we flip it around here on the back, you can see it is welding completely through the metal, but it's not blowing through, so we're getting good penetration. And I wanna show you just how strong this part is and the welds. I'm going to stand on it and put all of my weight on this part. And you can see it is not bending or collapsing. The welds aren't cracking and breaking apart. And I weigh about 185 pounds. And as you can see, I can put all of my weight on this part and it's nice and strong. And while I'm at it, I just wanna show you what these tabs are for right here on the ends of each pocket. That's just so I can line them up on the mounting plate. And like I said, this is just for alignment. You can see here, I've got two slots in the mounting plate and I just drop the piece in the place and get the tabs in the slots. And now everything is nice and straight, evenly aligned and nothing is crooked or out of place. I just let the metal fab do all of the measuring and getting everything perfect for me. And then I just weld it into place. All right, so I've discovered one little problem here in the manufacturing process, and that is I cannot get the MIG gun in here to weld this side of the second holder. But as you can see, I can lift this up, and this is plenty strong because this probably weighs about five, six, seven pounds right now, and just welded here on two sides is more than enough to hold a square in there. And I'm just gonna flip it over and weld these tabs on the back side just to make sure that it's nice and strong. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. You can see I've got all of these different eight inch fireball tool squares in here, different sizes and shapes. And then of course I can get two of the four inch squares 
in one pocket. And I'm, like I said, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'm glad I added these hexagons on here. I just wanted to challenge myself and do something different. I've seen people add hexagon shapes to their projects and I've always wanted to try it. And now that I have the metal fab, it is a no brainer and very easy to do. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. The only thing left to do now is paint it and go hang it on the wall. And this is what the project looks like when it is painted and mounted on the wall. I've got all of my squares here in these holders and no longer do I have to go behind the boat and dig out a square from a drawer in a toolbox when I need one. When I'm welding right here, they are all within arm's reach. And like I said, I really like how this turned out and I know this is gonna get a lot of use. It is also modular. So I can add on down the wall if I get more squares in the future. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. And don't forget, if you wanna know more about the X-Tool Metal Fab, or you're just curious about the current pricing information or any specials going on, be sure and check out the link that I've got down in the description of the video. And if you do purchase a Metal Fab, don't forget to use the discount code LENSMS to get your free set of protective lenses. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. Also smash that like button. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.